On entering the patient zone, hands must be decontaminated before and after each episode of patient care. Liquid soap or antimicrobial hand gel should be used. At the sink, paper hand towels should be used to dry your hands and carefully disposed of into a waste bin. Introduce yourself to the patient and position the arm comfortably on a pillow. Next, verify the patient's identity by checking the ID bracelet for name and date of birth. Also check for any allergies. Explain the procedure fully to the patient. It's important to obtain verbal and valid consent. Prepare a dressing trolley and ensure all surfaces are clinically clean. Attach a waste disposal bag and ensure the collection tray and sharps box are clinically clean. Assemble all the necessary equipment for the procedure. Checking packaging and expiry dates and assemble the equipment in a tray. Contents include a BD preset blood gas syringe, Clonel wipes, sterile gauze and a request form. Wash your hands before the procedure. Ensure that they are dry. Apply a disposable apron and don a pair of well-fitting nitrile gloves. The Allen's test should be considered as it tests the collateral circulation to the hands. Occlude the radial and the ulnar artery and ask the patient to make a tight fist. Ask the patient to open their hand flat and if it pinks up within 6 seconds, circulation's fine. Palpate the radial artery and locate the maximum pulsation point. Make sure the wrist is extended at this time. Using a chlorhexidine containing alcohol wipe, it's important to clean the selected area. Once the area is cleansed, it's important to allow it to dry for at least 30 seconds. Select a BD preset blood gas syringe, remove the syringe from its package and fully depress the plunger to ensure optimum placement of the anticoagulant. Then set the plunger slightly above the recommended sample volume which in this case is 1.6 millilitres. Remove the guard and position the needle carefully. Palpate the artery and advance slowly at about 45 degrees. Blood should automatically enter the syringe. Once the sample is collected, apply sterile gauze to the puncture site. Pressure must be applied for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Carefully dispose of the sharp to a sharps box. Carefully remove any air bubbles in the sample and cap it off from the atmosphere. Make sure you mix the sample properly. Next, fill out the appropriate blood form or take the sample to the nearest blood gas analyzer. Dispose of gloves, then your apron in that order. Dispose of any waste into an orange waste bin. Finally, decontaminate your hands after the procedure. Ensure the site isn't bleeding and ask the patient to report any pain or discomfort. Finally, document the procedure in the patient's notes.